is a magnet. Do you know how to spell the word magnet? Okay, let's spell it out. M A G N E T magnet. One more time. Good job. Now, these are magnets. This is one of my favorite toys. All you have to do is to hold them like this and they stick together without any glue or tape. Maybe you have magnets at home. A magnet is something that can put a special kind of force on something else. A force can be a push or a pull. Now kids, you may want to know why magnet can push or pull something. It is because there's an invisible area all around the magnet and that can attract certain things and it is called magnetic field. Everybody say it again. Magnetic field. Good job. Okay, kids, now look, let's try it. I have here a paper clip. Can you see it? Now, I'm going to put the paper clip on the top of this paper. And then, below is the magnet. And look what will happen. Now, I can move the paper clip without using my fingers at all. wonder what other things can stick to my magnet. What other things can stick to my magnet? Okay, now let's do an experiment. Let's play a game. Now you will guess if this wooden spoon can attract the magnet or not. Okay, let's try it. What do you think? Good guess. Now let's try it. Oh no. It doesn't attract the wood. Okay, I have here a plastic spoon. Say it again. Plastic spoon. Now let's try it. Uh oh. Magnets don't, don't attract to plastic. Okay, I have here another spoon. Can you see it? Okay, let's try it. Oh, look, it's thick. See? And do you know that this paper clip and this spoon attract to its magnet, to the magnet? Why? A magnet only attract in this paper clip and this spoon. A magnet only attract in this paper clip and this spoon. Very good. And there's something that they have in common. Something that, make, that makes them similar enough to be attracted to my magnet. What do you think it is? Yes! You got it right. They are all made of metal. See? Everybody say metal. Very good. Things that are made from metal are usually shiny. And magnets attract something that has metal. But not all kinds. Look at this. This is the paper clip, right? It can attract my magnet. But this coin, oh no, cannot, even though they are both made of metals. Okay, kids, now it's time to have an activity. Now, I have here some spoon, book binder ring, knife, straw, scissors, 
stone, paper clip, pencil, shell, clothespin, and a stick. So now kids, we will identify if it's a, it is magnetic or non-magnetic. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Now, first one is this spoon. Now, I have here a magnet. Now, let's try it. Wow! So, what is the answer? Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Very good. Okay, next, we have here a stick. Okay, so are you ready? Uh-oh. Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Good job. Now, kids, look. What's this? It's a knife. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> Look! Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Very good. <gasps> what about this one? What is it? It's a straw. Okay, let's try it. Oh no! What do you think is the answer? Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Very good, kids! What about this one? This is a, sp is a plastic spoon. Okay, let's try it. Uh-oh. What do you think is the answer? Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Very good, kids. And I have here a scissors. Look. Oh. Now let's try it. Okay, now kids, is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Very good! Now I have your pencil. Look at this pencil. Now let's try it. Oh no! Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? What about this one? This is a shell. Yes. Okay, let's try it. Uh oh. Is it magnetic or non magnetic? Good job. What about this? What is this? Yes, it's a stone. Now let's try it. Oh no. What's the answer? Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Good job, everyone. And the last one is a clothespin. Yes, this is a clothespin. Now let's try it. Oh, no! Is it magnetic or non-magnetic? Very good, kids! Okay, kids, very good. Now, those items are all magnetic. And these are not magnetic. 
Very good, everyone. Okay, kids, look. I have here a fish. And I put a paper clip on it. Look. Like this. And you can play with it using your magnet. Look. You can do this at home. Now, kids, it's time to say goodbye, Teacher Shini. Say goodbye, Teacher Shini. See you, see you next time.